Oh, wow, what do you know? It's time for the Pocket Knife Show. Hey, it's Mike on the mic again for another episode of the Pocket Knife Podcast. About seven years ago, I was reading in the book of Exodus when I remember being overwhelmed with a sense of God's power and presence. The story that I was reading in Exodus 19 is of God coming to meet with his people at Mount Sinai. I'd like to read that for you. This is Exodus 19, verses 16 to 19. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp trembled. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because the Lord descended on it in fire. The smoke billowed up from it like smoke from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled violently. As the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and the voice of God answered him. So, Moses calls the people to the foot of the mountain, and as they're watching, there's lightning flashes and thunder rolls and dark clouds covering the heights, smoke billows, and a loud trumpet blast is heard. The whole mountain trembles violently. The trumpet sound gets louder and louder, and this is the prelude to receiving the covenant rules that God gives to them. We call them the Ten Commandments. The awe I felt as I was reading those words, I don't know how to describe it. I sat down and wrote a song shortly after that in an attempt to solidify my new knowledge of God, to express to him my love for him and my reverence for him. This song, I hope, will encourage you to respect our great God, to fear him, and to obey him in all things.
over and over in the Proverbs, Solomon writes about the fear of the Lord. One of my favorite verses referring to the fear of the Lord is found in Proverbs 9.10. It says this, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. If your faith is in God, if you revere His name, if you know Him, you will be wise. You will have understanding. Maybe this week and next, a good growth task would be to go to the Proverbs and meditate on every wise saying that speaks of the fear of the Lord. There are at least 12 of them that I found. Fear the Lord and follow His ways. Our God is in charge. He is worthy of obedience in all things. Until next time, I pray that you will follow God in the power of His Spirit, enjoying His presence and fearing Him. Oh no, it's sad I know we've come to the end of the show. See you next time.